Liz, Liz Rockliffe. Um, I have a string musical instrument shop, specialists in violins and cellos, guitars, um, and all the things that you need to go with. Hi, I'm Steve Busby from BB's Guitars. Uh, my store is a sales showroom and also a services workshop for guitars and amplifiers. My thoughts on people selling instruments online, it's great for people who are just beginning, if you don't understand what you need, um, they can be quite helpful, you can get some good bargains, but also you don't get the help and support that you need, you can't pick up an instrument, you can't hold it, and more importantly you can't actually play it. So I feel it's really important to be able to see an instrument and feel it and hear it um, before you spend money on it. We have the capability of selling online uh, and have sold guitars online. However, the preference of uh, selling guitars is very much, um, personally, people coming into the store, foot traffic as it's called in retail, where people come in, try the guitars and uh, buy the one they tried rather than just uh, an unknown guitar in a box. I've never bought an instrument online, I've bought accessories online, but all the instruments I've bought have been bought from individual people or from a real shop. Personally, I don't think you can buy an instrument online because it's such a personal thing that you need to play them first. All instruments are slightly different from one another. looked online to see what the recommended instrument was, what most people liked about the euphonium and I got some very good uh, comments about this particular mate which is a Wilson euphonium. I have a son who's um, aged 22. I bought him a ukulele online, a sort of larger than normal on a tenor ukulele, and they're very hard to find in music shops. It was absolutely excellent, it sounded beautiful, and it looked very nice. We were very happy with it. But um, I certainly wouldn't think about buying a brass instrument online. You really have to um, try them, try many of them out, really. The sound you get from an instrument is a combination of you and the instrument. And you, the only way you've got, re realistically got, of hearing what that combination sounds like is to pick up the physical, the actual instrument you're potentially going to buy and play it. My name's Kirsten. I play uh, the guitar and the piano. I've never bought online. Um, I've done, I usually do sort of like research online um, and then go and actually buy from stores. I wouldn't want to buy something online and then not like the way it sounds, the way it feels to play it when I get it. So I think it's just, it's more, like you get more familiar with it and you sort of know that you're going to enjoy playing it. So here I have a, a cello that's been brought in to me that somebody's bought on the internet, um, which has a few issues. It's not quite as playable as we'd like it to be. The first major problem here is the bridge. As you can see, the feet don't fit the, the belly of the, of the cello. Um, the bridge is actually on the wrong way round, but apart from that, the bridge is very, very high. It hasn't been set up, it hasn't been fitted, so the strings are very hard to press down, um, which makes it incredibly difficult to play. The other problem is here that the nut is a little bit on the high side, um, so again, the strings are very hard to push down. Inside the cello, we have a piece of dowel that sits just behind the treble foot. It's quite difficult to see inside, but that's called the sound post, and that hasn't been correctly positioned. Um, little things like the quality of the um, adjusters, in fact, that is almost impossible to turn. 
um, so we just need to put a bit of lubricant on that and then finally the pegs the quality of the pegs um, they need to be a good strong ebony or rosewood or sometimes you use boxwood these are made from stained fruit wood which we have issues with holding the, the peg getting the peg to hold in tune um, which is why we have the fine tuners at this end so those are things that all would be sorted out before an instrument would even be seen by any of my customers just to make them as playable as possible um, I would never buy an instrument like a guitar a full-on guitar uh, on the internet but uh, this instrument was a little lap steel which you play put on your lap I had to buy that online because it was the only way I could get hold of that instrument this instrument I bought in 1988 uh, I bought it from the store that was around the birth of the internet so I couldn't have bought it online but I still would not have bought it online inherently there's nothing wrong with online because some things you can you just can't get not online so I wouldn't have had my little Gibson uh, lap steel on, uh, without it being online but um, as a default I think it's a bad thing I think it's worse value um, it takes away the relationship between the customer and the person selling the instrument uh, it's, it, there's a lot of depth in actually dealing face to face with someone they can find out what you want you can tell them what you want um, and quite apart from that there are other benefits too so you get um, to know other people in the store there may be people who you know want you to join a band or, or a quartet group or, or whatever um, all of these things you just don't get by sitting in front of a computer ultimately we are going to lose a very valuable part of our lives if online stores completely take over the world the retail world we have lost a very valuable part of humanity the internet is, is great for, for social media it helps advertising lets people know that I'm here I've bought accessories online, but all the instruments I've bought have either been from individual people or from, high, from shops on the street. If you're a faceless entity dispatching a guitar from the other end of the country, it's quite different to your local guitar shop where you can walk in for advice, service and a friendly smile. I think nothing beats going in a music shop yourself and actually looking and feeling instruments.